Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here. Today we're doing a color comparison of all the iPhone 11 colors that we unboxed earlier today. So here we have, of course, the purple, yellow, green, white, red, and black colors. And uh, yeah, we're gonna talk a little bit about them, mainly so that you guys can see the colors for yourselves. I mean, it's up to you what color you like the most. And uh, yeah, so far my favorites are the purple, followed by possibly, I don't know, for some reason this green one is growing on me a little bit, but I think I'm keeping the yellow second, followed by the green, then white, then red, then the black. I think the black, while it's really nice and everything, that's what I've been using for like the past two years and I think I'm just kind of sick of it, especially since we've gotten pretty much the exact same design of phone over the past couple of years. But yeah, I'll be showing you some extra footage on screen of different lighting conditions so you guys can see how these phones look without all the kind of studio lighting or the lighting you get at an Apple store that makes things look a little bit better, et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully you guys can get a better idea of what the colors look like if you can't go and see them by yourself. But I think right now how I'm holding these devices and see how I'm holding the green kind of like this so you guys can see it a little bit better because when I hold it straight up, it kind of uh, loses what it looks like in real life. It's kind of more like, it's definitely a more toned down, definitely not as bright as the yellow or even the purple. The good thing about the white one is that it has no cloudiness, no hint of any other color. It's definitely just a white color, a nice, plain, simple white color with the silver sides, which is very nice. So no cloudiness to it like we've gotten with the XS in previous years and the iPhone 10. The black one here is kind of the same deal. It's basically as pure black as you can get, which is definitely really nice if maybe you put like some skin on this or something that will keep this kind of fingerprint free because the fingerprints on this one, they really catch on this. So they're gonna be all over this phone. This phone is like never going to look clean, even if you wash your hands all the time. It'll just attract everything and you'll see everything all the time. So if you're gonna put a case on it and you want stealth black Batman mode or something, this is gonna be really nice for that. If you're gonna go naked or whatever without a case, then it's still gonna work. Just know that you'll have some fingerprints on there. Honestly, none of the other phones really show the fingerprints that much, really only around the Apple logo because that's just, you know, silver reflective. And uh, yeah, every single phone color that we have here has the camera rings tinted to the appropriate color of the device. So here you can see these four right there. The yellow one has kind of like gold rings around the lenses. The purple one has a slightly deeper purple. This uh, green has a slightly deeper green that Apple is calling. And honestly, it just doesn't look green to me. It's like some weird teal, bluish, greenish color. Definitely not green, green. Like, uh, let's say the Pro, I, I would consider that maybe more definitely a green color. And the white one here has some silver rings around it. The black one has some space gray rings around it. And the red one, of course, has some red rings around that. And every accent is really bright. The cool thing about the 11 that I like is that camera bump is matted out. So it's not shiny. It's not reflective or anything. It kind of just looks like it's part of this whole thing. It kind of looks nice. It doesn't look bad. I personally think it looks better than what the tennis looked like. I don't think it looks as good as the 10R because that only had one lens on there. Like that looked pretty clean, but uh, you can see there the 10S. I definitely prefer the look on the 11 than the 10S. The 10S for some reason looks fake with that flash in the middle like that. And just as a quick comparison next to the black and black or black and space gray, whatever. There you can see, I definitely prefer what they did with the iPhone 11. I don't know about you guys, but I do. Yeah, I just think the bump there at least looks a little bit better. And I would say it's even maybe a little bit flatter than it was on the XS. I'd be imagining it, but you can kind of see that there. Definitely looks a little bit skinnier. But yeah, if you're deciding between colors, you're probably deciding like between black and white or possibly between black and red or black, white, and red or between these three pastel colors because they're kind of like in different categories of it. As I mentioned in another video, they're kind of... Uh, three separate colors that you would either go for this category or this category. The white one kind of goes in between both, but I think if you want white, you know you want white, and you might as well just go for that straight up. You wanna spice it up a little bit, of course, the three new colors here. The yellow definitely looks better than last year's 10R yellow. But overall, with all these colors, what you see is really what you get. When you go online and look at Apple's promo images, they're pretty dang close to the real thing. 
course, they're gonna look a little bit different when you bring them into these darker lighting conditions and uh, they're not gonna look as pretty because they don't have white reflecting off them to make them look a little bit more like the candy colors that Apple wants them to be. But overall, I think you'll be really satisfied with whatever color you get. Now, if you guys do wanna see how all these phones look with the clear case from Apple, I did make a separate video. I'll have that link down below in the description. And yeah, the great thing about all these new colors, I think all three of these look really nice. The problem with last year's 10R colors was that the border aluminum, they had a different kind of tint to, or quite a bit of a different tint to the back color. So for example, I was really excited about the blue. I like the blue back. There's something about the side of the blue that I just could not get used to and I did not like. So already I like this green version more than last year's 10R blue because it just works a little better. Same thing with the yellow. And if we zoom in here a little bit, you guys can see that a little bit better. You can see how the colors look in a little bit of darkness there. And they still look pretty good. And then when you put them and shine them, you can see a little bit of that sheen reflection on the sides, which I think the purple looks best there. But uh, my favorite back is the yellow, but my favorite side here is the purple. I just like the way that looks there. And all these sides kind of remind me of like the older iPod Nano colors that they had for some time, the tall ones with the click wheel. Kind of reminds me of that for some reason, these colors, these deep colors that look really nice from the side. So you can see all the colors there, how they look. Nice little, uh, Nice little peek there how they look. You know, there's not much to say. I'm kind of coming up with things. You know that I'm coming up with things because uh, really just trying to show you guys the colors there so you guys can see them for yourselves. And uh, imagine if I just dropped all these right now and just cracked one of the corners. How screwed would I be? My goodness. But uh, there you can see them. So hopefully that kind of gives you a general idea of how all these colors look in numerous lighting conditions and uh, what your favorite color is now. Hopefully makes it to some degree a little bit easier to decide because I know it's difficult trying to figure out what you're gonna spend your money on. Some people make fun of that, but other people forget that this is a pretty big choice. It's a lot of money, $700 is not just chump change. Deciding on a color is definitely something like just deciding on a car color. You can't just pick it out of the whim. You wanna look at it and see if it's something that you wanna use every day. That's part of your lifestyle. So that's how I see it personally. Maybe I'm looking too far into it. Maybe you should just go in and be like, just give me an iPhone 11. They all do the same thing, just give me one. But yeah, that's enough of that. Those were the iPhone 11 in white, in black, red, yellow, green, and purple. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me down there in the comments or on Twitter at ArmarDNL or on Instagram, and I'll get back to you there as well. But yeah, thank you for making it this far. Appreciate it. Not many people make it this far. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye.